Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'm reading a brand new webtoon suggested and voted by you guys on my YouTube community poll page. Oh my gosh, tongue twister. And it is called, let me read it to you guys, Operation True Love. And here's the description here. It says, it's hard dating someone who won't give you the time of day. I do not know how to say their name, so I'm going to butcher it to my version. To us, Shim knows that better than anyone. Having dated her indifferent boyfriend, Minu Kang, for years, she sometimes wishes she could be more like her charismatic stepsister, Ra Im, who seems to have it all. But life takes a turn for the weird when Sua discovers Jelly Pop, a sentient flip phone in her locker. Jelly Pop has a lot to say about her love life, especially as Sua drifts further away from Minu and finds herself running into Minu's friend, Yoon Hyuk. Hyuk. Add to the mix a growing suspicion that Minu and Ra Im might be more than friends, and Sua might need a miracle to navigate the ups and downs of high school romance. This is interesting! But if you guys are interested in this journey of me reading this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and drop some comments. But due to Webtoon's new policy for people who react to their content on YouTube or anywhere else, we have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. And for people who are interested in my Patreon page, uh, where you guys have early access for the month and don't want to deal with uh, all the blurs, especially for the genres that are horror and thriller. It is on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Teen Discussion Forum. Guess what, people? So this is a prologue one, I think. Yes. Did you know being loved is something that is destined at birth? I mean, can you believe that? Guess what, people? Oh my gosh. Ding! What do you mean? It's decided by fate. Ding! The comment above is nonsense. It's just hard you, you try. My friend became popular after got double eyelid surgery. Ding! Well, looks aren't everything. Your personality matters too, you know? You need to be charming. <sighs> Post uplo uploader here. No, trying is useless. No matter how hard you try, nothing changes. Just live with the looks you're born with. The world is supposed to be in an unfair place. But how can the gap be so glaring and blunt as this? No amount of hard work can change these numbers. Not 998 out of 1,332. Pop, 365 out of 2,791. Oh my gosh, what, what is all this? Hearts? Oh, that's how many people liked it? These numbers on the screen. Information. User information. Significa, si signify the amount of love each person will receive in their lifetime. Oh, and this? Is something only I can see. Ooh. What? This is interesting. Wanna go see a movie? Tickets are on tickets on me. Uh. Ding. Plus one. She's man. In reality, the love you give doesn't balance out. Sorry, I have cram- I have cram school. 
He shoved her off? <laughs> He's probably cheating. With the love you receive. Just like there are people born into money. With a silver spoon. Oh my god. Golden spoon? Silver spoon? There are people destined to receive love. You guys are rich, yeah. Popularity is not determined by looks, body type, or even personality. The most amiable person in the world. Popularity is something you're born with. That's a lot of love and she only has 728. That's how much she's going to receive in her lifetime. In a world where everyone loves, ba boom, ba boom, or is loved, ba boom, ba boom, where being loved is a skill and assets you're born with. I am basically at the bottom of the ladder. Zero. So says the Jelly Pop phone, an old retro flip phone that was popular a few years ago. <laughs> and that's how much love I'll receive in my whole lifetime. There's no way. There has to be a glitch. She is at zero. She won't receive any. Operations. True love. Ryder. I don't know how to say that name. Kokali? Artist, deal dumb, old dumb. I don't know. Interesting. This episode one zero, zero. Oh, how can there not even be one person who will fall in love with me? Zero is just too harsh, you know. Many things happened before I came to the realization that I will never be loved. And the two weeks leading up to it were the most tumultuous, tumultuous, I cannot say that, time in my life so far. Sorry guys, my dog was chewing her treat a little bit too loud and I had to move her out. Operation True Love, Episode 1. Psst. Two weeks ago. Two, three. Chatter. I serve. Click. Sue A's phone is so good for selfies. I should switch to this one too. Look this way, Agent. <laughs> no. <gasps> hey. It's not... oh, damn it. It's all crumpled. Whoa, what's with all you all of a sudden? But I have a boyfriend. <laughs> no. Even if he isn't that kind to me. Hmm. You're cute. <laughs> My boyfriend, Minu, is just kind of like that. Kind of. Kind of? Uh? Uh? But I'm not done eating yet. If he finishes his lunch first. Hey, Minu. He'll just pick up his tray and leave, even if his girlfriend is still eating. That's a jerk. Ding dong. Ding dong. Okay, class is over. Go straight home, everyone. Oh. Let's go, Minu. But I'm going to the internet cafe. <laughs> what? But you promised you walk home with me today. <laughs> when I ask him to walk home together... What are you, a kid? 
He leaves for the internet cafe without even a second glance. You can walk home by yourself, right? See you. Uh. Hey, pass it here. Hey, watch out! Oh, he's so dreamy. <laughs> hey! Menu. I what? That's not a boyfriend. You're so useless. We lost because of you. He's more pissed about losing a soccer game than seeing his girlfriend get hit by the ball. K Yet I'm still stupidly in love with him. Here. Huh? I got you one since you're skipping lunch for art club today. <laughs> Tasty milk. Strawberry flavor. Minu, you're the best. Uh, that girl has no self-respect. How can she forget all the, his rude behavior after something so small? It's because she knows she's not good enough for Minu anyways. <laughs> That's so mean. I hate high school. See you. No matter how much I like a guy, I wouldn't be able to stand such a relationship. <laughs> so refreshing. <laughs> Did Minu give you this? Uh, does looking at his gift make you happy? This should have been for lunch, so why are you still saving it? If you don't want it, I'll drink it for you. That's such a... Oh, reminds me so much of my high school experience. Why are you drinking that? Give it back, you bastard! Did you just call me a bastard? Why, you little piece of... Hey, show me. You almost whacked me. You know how many people would be devastated to see a scratch on my face? Try to be more careful. <laughs> well, I feel so uneasy around him. That's right. Yun Hyuk makes me uncomfortable. Hyun Hyuk is Minu's best friend. Yet, we've never had a proper conversation. But still, whenever Minu treats me badly, he always... Come on, Yoon Hyuk. Looks at me with that gaze. Coming. A gaze that clearly telling me Minu, I looked pathetic. Back then, I didn't know that I would cheat on my boyfriend. With Yoon Hyuk. Oh, uh, it should have been be like, with his best friend. Girl, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You should always, like, if you know you're not going to be with that guy and you don't feel it, break up with him. Break up with him. Don't cheat. Let me explain. My quiet life turning into a love affair all at once isn't something I wanted. Operation True Love, Episode 2. What is that? A SIM card? SD card? Early March. Uh? Uh, what? Are they all gone already? Uh, ring. Is that 7 Eleven? Ser 7? Came out to buy snacks. Run! Oh! Huh? What are you doing here? Are you on a study break? Poka chip. Sua's favorite chips. <laughs> you came out to buy chips again, didn't you? <laughs> are you taking a break too? Changing the subject. Yeah, but we have to go back in soon. You're going to finish late, right? Should I come pick you up? That's okay. He's going to walk me home. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> what? It's Yunhyu. Wait, they go to the same cram school? Oh, crap! I forgot I was dressed like a slob! <laughs> Damn, this is embarrassing. It's just a theory, but... I think Yoon Hyuk likes Ryan. I didn't know he could make an expression like that. Well, he's not the first guy to like Ryan anyways, although I still do find Yoon Hyuk surprising. But it's understandable. Ryan's the total package. Oh, she's smart. She's pretty and confident. And she also gets good grades. She has lots of friends, of course, though they're kind of scary. She's my younger sister who has it all. Well, she's not my younger sister exactly. So funny, right? <laughs> She's kind of like my foster sister. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're not twins, but we're the same age. What do you want to grab for breakfast? We're not related by blood, but we're still a family. Hey, Ryan, I asked what you want to eat. Hmm? In a web novel, she would be the lead female character for sure. <laughs> Sorry, I already started brushing my teeth. She's pretty and kind of kind with a sad backstory. Even her name is pretty. Ra M U. Or maybe not. She might be more fit for the role of the male lead's ex. Mm. Cause the female leads are usually quite ordinary. In this case, I would be a better fit. But my dad left my mom when he found out she was pregnant. What? My mom suffered a lot raising me on her own, and then she died in an accident. It still hurts to think about her. She had to go through so much because of me. Oh. Ra M didn't cry while telling her me her story, but I did. There were no secrets between us, after all. So they're like, pretty much like best friends, kind of, right? If Rahim hasn't told me anything about him, I guess he hasn't confessed his feelings to her yet. Such a kind little sister, all worried for her sis. Huh? Little sister? Uh, how old are you? Are you in middle school? <laughs> uh, hey, Yunho, are you being serious? <laughs> Your laugh is so annoying. Calm down. What are you, in elementary school? But it's hilarious. <laughs> Mrs. Sua, you guys are in the same class. I know this message just started, but how can you not even recognize her? Oh, sorry, I think it was the hair that threw me off. <sighs> what the hell is his problem? What a jerk. That basically sums up my impression of Yoon Hyuk. <laughs> Sua, please collect all the notebooks and bring them to the teacher's office. One, two, three, four, three. There's one missing. Who hasn't submitted theirs yet? <sighs> hey, Yoon Hyuk, Hyuk. -Yu. You have to submit your notebook. Huh? Is he pretending he can't hear me? But he's only wearing earphones in one ear. Hey, Yoon Hyuk. <sighs> oh, she dropped everyone's journal. <sighs> I don't like this guy. Yun Hyuk usually never replies when he's focused on studying. You have to go up to, to him and tell him. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Do I really have to do all that? He can do it himself then. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Teacher's office. 
Here are the notebooks you asked for. Thanks, you can just leave them there. Good work. Okay. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. It's like I missed his notebook on purpose. <laughs> I asked you for your notebook earlier, but you didn't. <sighs> Answer me. Huh? Damn, he just walked past her. Like, screw you. What the heck? St what was that? Does he think it's my fault or something? He's the one who didn't answer. He's so nice and playful with everyone else. But why is he so unfriendly to me? So rude. Why don't you just wear a longer skirt? <laughs> because it's not as cute. Cute. But it's such a nuisance every morning. All done. Let's go. <laughs> but don't change the subject. Wait, my tie. <gasps> See, you are so occupied with... Packing another skirt, you forgot to. <gasps> she forgot hers. Oh. Well, good luck. I'm going to get going first. <laughs> wow, such a gentleman. I know, right? Damn it. Isn't the dis disciplinary head waiting at the gate today? <gasps> He's going to make us run laps for sure. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Hi, Yun Yuk. Why are you just standing there? We forgot our ties. We're gonna be running laps for sure. Not him again. Why does it have to be the disciplinary head at the gate today? He even flags clear earrings. Huh? You can use mine. What? Then what about you? I was going to run laps before class anyways. <laughs> You're joking. I'm warning you. I might not give this back. So uh, I'm going to go on ahead. Good luck. Bye, you know, you know. Wow, I feel so invisible. This sucks. Hey, run faster. The last three to finish gets three extra laps. That's so unfair. <sighs> I have to do three extra laps for being too slow. <laughs> oh. Oh, my throat. I almost died out there. Uh, huh? What's this? A jelly pop bone? What's an artifact like this doing in my locker? Wait, is it Yun Hyuk's? He's the only one in my class who uses a 2G phone, so he could better focus on his studies or something. Hey, Yun Hyuk. Bzz. Unknown number. Look at the photo album. Is this text for me? Hmm. Bzz. Yes, you, the funny looking girl with the short hair, opened the photo album. <laughs> huh? W what is this? T t t They're all photos of me. What kind of cycle took all the of these? <gasps> Isn't this, is that Yoon Hyuk's phone? What? Why do you have that? Are you close with him? Hey. Where are you going? Dum. Hey, you, explain this. What are these photos? What are you talking about? Are you serious? You took my photos without permission. It's empty. What the? How? Bzz. One new message. You have a pretty big mouth. Ba boom everything i tell you from now on has to be our secret don't tell anyone <laughs> you don't know what will happen if you tell game over Bzz. it wasn't yun Hyuk. that's kind of creepy Bzz. don't worry i'm here to help you Bzz. who is this then <laughs> What the heck? Bzz, don't worry. That's so creepy. What if it's like her, but from the future? Bzz, I'm here to help you. What is it? Did you get a new phone or something? Huh? 
What's wrong with Sua? No clue, she just got mad out of nowhere. <laughs> it wasn't Yoon Hyuk? But who else would do something like this? Operation True Love, Episode 3. Something's not right. This is so weird. I was holding the phone the entire time. So how did this, those photos just disappear like that? What's going on? Zzz. Poor you. Wait, this is... <gasps> the present I gave Minu. Ta-da! It's a present. <sighs> it's so childish. What do you mean? Wear it on your bag, okay? Fine. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Well. Man, this is so freaking childish. Bzz. Do you still think your boyfriend likes you? <sighs> no. I need to get rid of these useless thoughts. <laughs> it must have fallen off his bag. Who are you? Do you think this is funny? Bzz. You want to know who I am? <laughs> when they, the reply arrived before I could even send my text, I finally realized what a strange situation this was. Ding dong, ding dong. That should be the end of it. Huh? Um... Hey, you guys! Huh? <laughs> Come hear you. <laughs> That's a little bit too flirtatious. Hey, Sua. Do you th do you still think your boyfriend likes you? Why is that text message popping into my head right now? What exactly am I thinking? What the hell was that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hacking. Jelly pop. A stalker? A stalker. A hacker. Or is there a ghost inside that jelly pop phone? It doesn't make any sense. Teacher, you haven't checked our homework yet. Oh yes, everyone, show me page 47 of your workbooks then. Let's check who did it. Uh? Come on, who the hell reminded him? Hey, Yoon Hyuk, are you serious? Man, that was so not cool. So what, just do your homework. The prime suspect here is probably... Huh? Someone who knows me well. To be honest, I don't think Minu is a great boyfriend material. I just... I mean, he just so... The way I see it, Minu doesn't even seem to really like you. By the way, that guy I was flirting with... Did Minu cancel your date again? Don't cry. Want me to go DL at him? Cheer up. Let's order fried chicken. And someone who clearly knows I like Minu more than he likes me. <sighs> Mal silently. What? The same person who uses a retro jelly pop phone no one, use, no one else uses. Jelly. Jelly. Jelly pop. I mean, jelly pop users are rare these days. It's suspicious. Approach me sweetly. Uh, wait, I know this song. Who didn't hand in their cell phone yet? Bring it to the front immediately. Could it be? Hurry up. Sucho, you're sitting at the back. Go bring it to me. 
Jelly, jelly, jelly pop. Jelly beep. Huh? Isn't this a jelly pop phone? A jelly pop? Isn't it Yoon Chok? But that's Sua's locker. What? what? But how? What is that doing in my locker again? That's weird. I really... It's kind of tripping me out and I know I need to read a little bit more to kind of understand and for it to be good. But right now I'm just like tripped out. Like what's going on? My brain is like trying to like make sense of everything. I'm trying to figure out what kind of voices to do for each character or like what... I don't know. I I feel like her stepsister is a snake, low key, and that her boyfriend is a dirt bag. He's already a dirt bag, but he's gonna be a bigger dirt bag, and together they're gonna do something that will hurt her really bad. The main lead. So, all right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.